welcome back. We have got work to do in this video, let me tell you. What I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna show you what I've got done now because the inside of the book, unless there's a surprise waiting for me, I am done with the inside. I'm jammy working. I hope you are too. Um, I finished the cover painted in the pink and I went ahead and used a lighter shade of pink with a credit card and just smooshed it around the front because I, it reminded me of when you frost a cake and you can see the lines in it from where the knife went around, at least when I frost a cake. Actually, this would be better than if I frosted a cake. Anyway, let's go through the book first. And before I get started, welcome to the new subbies and thank you so much for all of the comments and the likes and everything. I I really appreciate you guys are so much fun. Um, it's It's been so much fun. So here is the month of November and I'm just going to kind of flip through. Oops, I added the little embellishments. These are Tim Holtz pieces. We saw that the other day and I finished dating everything. Ugh, I don't know if I'll ever do that again quite like that. That was a little much. So that's the calendar portion and then we get into the journal portion. Um, again, some of these pages, the images from the digital kits are so beautiful. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything else because, I mean, what else can you do? It's so gorgeous. Here is the first tag. And I do want to go in and do some sewing yet, but I needed to get crackalacking. Here's what I added to this page with the tags. Aren't they fun? So much fun. I cannot wait to use this. I'm so excited about it. I'm like a little kid. And then here's the little ones that I put in. These pockets were from the kit. And two of these papers were from the kit. I just um, cut them down to the tag size that I wanted. This backing piece it was kind of like a label shape. I used that from the kit. But I just, I think this is so much fun. It says Christmas wishes. Isn't that one fun too? So super fun. Think about it. There's four, eight pockets here. Crazy. All that in one layout. And then here's this gorgeous tag with this little pumpkin on here. So much fun. And then there are these two little recipe tags in these pockets. And I added this baked goods piece from the um, Caroline's Musings kit. Here is these, here is, here are these pages. And here's that greeting card that I made into a tag or journaling card, whatever you want to call it. That one could be considered both, I guess. In this spread, I added two more pockets. These are the recipe cards again. And in here, We've got this, and um, these packets, again, were from the kit. Really pretty. I love the little poinsettia up on top. So that's that. I added these two and the ribbon going down the pages, and these are from a book that I got, golly, a couple years ago, here are the other pieces from that book. It was like um, punch outs. <clears throat> it came from the book and then I um, just fussy cut them out. So, And again, in here I have my shopping list from the planner kit 
and my menu pages from the planner kit. Here's another one of the big pockets. This is the Santa Claus one. I mean, you could, that's a lot of space. And I like how these doily pieces kind of remind me of snowflakes. Here's the stitching. Here are these big. Um, I can also tuck things in these pockets. I left them as pockets in case I wanted to add anything to those. Same here. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Remember? <laughs> here we go. Calamities with Lisa again. I can't pull this out because remember when I was having a hard time <laughs> sewing on here? I sewed, the ta I sewed through the tag. Well, I'm going to have to remedy that afterwards. Oh, my goodness. I sewed right through the tag. Glory be. It's a beautiful tag, trust me. All right, I said I was gonna quick flip through. This isn't happening quickly. All right, and then here is the sack that I showed in the last video with my gift buying booklet that I toss in my purse when I'm going out and about to do my holiday shopping. So that's how that turned out. Now, what I'm going to do next, I think as a next step, I'm gonna glue because you can see the embossed title of the book. Is that embossed or debossed? I never know. But anyway, you can see it. So, Pearl, what are you doing? Why don't you get out of there? The ladies are listening to us. And gentlemen, I shouldn't say that. There are gentlemen who watch too. Okay. So I'm going to put that on there like this. And then I thought that I would add some old lace on here too. That'd be cute, wouldn't it? So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac for that. I'm not going to hot glue it because... Um, it's probably a me thing, but I have issues with the hot glue seeping through fabric, and I'm going to really try to not have that happen. First, I'm going to run a bead down the middle. Run it along the top and bottom. Now, if you've got any globs, I recommend kind of smoothing those out a little bit with the nozzle. That way you'll decrease the likelihood. See there, I've got a little booble. You'll decrease the likelihood of it then soaking through your fabric. But we are going to put the lace on there too. So, Okay, I want to get this on first. Ooh, pew, that stinks. Now what I'm what I've chosen to do on mine is I'm, I left the selvage edge on the bottom of the fabric because then I know it isn't going to fray, and I left just ever so slightly an edge of the pink um, spine on here, but I have overlap up here because I'll fray that simply because I like the look of it. No reason otherwise. Just personal preference. So now that I've got that on there, let's do the back first. I'm gonna come in here with my glue again after I get it down to the nozzle. And I didn't check the time again. Oh, mercy me, mercy me. I always am in such a hurry to get on here with you guys and get crafting that. <laughs> 
I always forget. Again, smooth it out. Oops, missed my mark. Just lightly tap it down first. You wanna make sure it's straight so you don't have any wonky crookedness going on. We don't like wonky, unless we want it to be wonky. Sometimes I just have to accept wonky. I did fray these edges a little bit and they'll probably fray a little bit more as I use the journal. I like the frayed edge. Just kind of makes me happy. Okay. We'll come in on this side. Oh, stop. I think I'm gonna have to take Pearl into the bed. She keeps licking and chewing her feet and I don't know if she's got a bit of an infection or what she's got going on there, but constant feet looking has got to be uncomfortable for her and the sound of it drives me bonkers. There. So there is the front. Yeah, and then I'm just really gonna <clears throat> fray this top edge. Come on. Kind of softens it. I'll probably fray it a bit more, but I noticed I'm gonna come back with this a little bit, tack it down a little more. Come on. And thank you to everybody who has added the comments about how much you like this journal. And so many people have agreed with me on how lovely these digitals are. So I hope that the creators of the digitals have been able to get a little, a little love from the project. Okay, um, before I get too cray cray, I'm going to, Now this is vintage, not antique, I don't believe, but definitely vintage. So what I'm going to do here is first cut it to length. Let me get this out of the way otherwise Goodness knows I have plenty in the way already. Doesn't need to be any worse than it is. Okay, let's tack this down. And I like that this is a little discolored already to make it look vintage as it is. But it just gives a nice soft feeling So I'm going to come down the middle lightly again. First, I think I'll go across the top this time. And actually, this fabric has um, a very faint snowflake pattern in it. And... 
it has some, the snowflakes are in like itty bitty little boxes. So I can follow the lines of the boxes as my marker. Okay, let's see how that works. Now I've got glue in my fingers. I hate that feeling. All right. While that is drying, see, it just gives a nice soft edge to it. Very feminine. So while that's drying, we're going to go on to the next step. I already did one of these. I showed you in an earlier video that I have these wood cutout snowflakes. And I just took some embossing powder and one powder was called Kaleidoscope and the other one is called Silver Tinsel. Isn't that awesome? I mean, can't get more appropriate than that. And I did that one in those colors. The, these two, I'm gonna do a mixture of these. One is crystal and the other one is a pearl. <laughs> My dog's name is Pearl and she thought I said her name. And we'll put sprinkle the silver tinsel on, on top of that. So, oh my goodness, I didn't get out the embossing glue. <clears throat> I tried it with this glue the last time. I'm gonna do a little experiment that I hope works. Because this is about down to its last leg. This is the Re Recollections um, glue refill. The refill was not working on the pad, so I just went it didn't like soak into it. It was just a big glob on top. So I don't know if this is just getting too old because it comes out a little globby too. And that's a very technical word, globby. Again, I'm kind of spreading this out with the nozzle as I'm going along.
All right, oof -da. That was a project and a half, getting that out of there. Whew. Yucky de yuck. Okay, what I should have done first, I realized as I was doing this, was to put it on this right away. Ugh. No, I, I changed my mind. I think it is pretty much like super glue. All right, so first I'm coming in. Hmm, I'm going to come in first real lightly with the pearl color. I wanted to try this. Just to do a light dusting with this. Okay, so I've got a little pearl on there, and then I'm going to come back in with the crystal. Ooh, I can already tell that's going to be beautiful. Come on. Now, because I'm mixing this, I'm not going to be able to dump them back into the same vials. And then I'm coming in with the tinsel. Ugh. And I think so one little tip that needed a little I think that will be good we're going to find out here ick 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 Okay. Yeah. My cord was stuck. So if you've never embossed before, you can tell when it's done when it starts bubbling up. So we've got our second winter snowflake. And let's grab the third one. This one I'm going to treat differently. I forgot to turn the camera back on when I did the third snowflake. But I hope you can see. I'm trying to see in the screen if you can see how that sparkles. But it's amazing. So I'm gonna get these out of the way here quick and try not to make a mess. Because I've got sparklies all over this paper. Put it over on this 
container. Okay, so next step then is, where did I bury? Right here. I'm gonna lay this out here somehow. Wondering if and that can go there like that. I still want to be able to see the words. And then maybe this one. I have to be careful because I did break. That'll be fine once I glue it down, but I did break one of the little snowflake arms. I don't know, do snowflakes have arms? Maybe I'll put this one down below. And this one up here. Yep. Ooh, really? Okay, got my water, got my Mod Podge. This is gonna go right here. And what I think I will do is just mark out where I'm going to put that. Yep. All right, so what we wanna do, oh my gosh, I could get that open. Usually I struggle with that. This is my Mod Podge. And in Wisconsin, because the heat is on, it will dry solidly. Some people who are in areas where um, it's more humid um, have issues with Mod Podge fully curing. Sometimes in the summer, it takes it longer for me. Be, number one, we live on a lake now, so it gets a little more humid. But um, you want to make sure you get it very evenly, very well coated under where your piece is going to go. Stick it down there good. And then come back in with your Mod Podge on top. Um, I've seen people do similar things with, um, Tim Holtz has, oh, I'm going to butcher the name of it. I've never used it, but I've seen other people use um, oh, collage. It's a collage medium probably by Ranger with the Tim Holtz name. Um, and this will bubble up a little bit, so you want to kind of tamp it down. But, um, yeah, I don't know if that works better. I've heard some people say it does work a little better for them. If you do this to work out your bubbles, just make sure you don't tear your piece. Very, very gentle. Okay. Put that in the water so I don't get Mod Podge stuck in one of my favorite brushes. I like to put wax paper on here just to help seal it. Seems like if with this stuff, if you don't do that, no matter how tight you put the cover on, it still dries up. Sorry. Um, I'll just show you what that will look like with a different piece. So this is my ephemera holder, and this piece is Mod Podged on the cover of it. With this, I had distressed around the edges and it kind of then 
pulled that distress color through the piece as I brushed it. But see here there is a couple areas where I didn't work out the bubbles well enough. So that is that part of it. Now what we will do is to glue on our beautiful snowflakes. I'm just working out which one I want on top and I can't seem to make up my mind. I'm just gonna go for it and quit lollygigging around about it. Plus this one is the one that's a little fussy, so I wanna get it down before I knock its little snowflake arm off. Cookie, please stop. She's getting old, or she is old, and she has started licking everything. I don't, I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what the deal is with her. And now she's started, um, well, she has been for a little while, um, waking up in the night and just shaking and quivering and and I have to take her out of the bedroom. She's fine if I leave the bedroom with her and we go lay down and sleep in a different room. I don't know what the deal is with that, but I'm happy to do whatever makes her comfortable so she sleeps. Otherwise, she walks all over me and just is a little beside herself. We'll put that one there. And this one here. Maybe I won't. We're going to have to finagle that a bit. Because I don't want it to be at the bend of the book here. So I'm going to put this one on first. The bottom one, I mean. Cookie. Miss Cook. Cookie! Sorry about the noise. She's also hard of hearing. <laughs> Last weekend, my husband went on Friday and got one of our dogs that was being artificially inseminated for a litter. So now we're in wait and see mode. So I hope it took. She and her other Munsterlander sister were apart from each other, and they do not like being apart. They are all about each other. So we've got to keep her still now. Trying to keep an active dog still is like trying to keep a two-year-old still. They keep wanting to wrestle because they were missing each other. Let's put the last one on. And then guess what, guys? I'm not going to put a closure on this because I just, for this particular use, I prefer not to have one. But if you like to have a closure, by all means, you can put a tie around it. You can put a... Um, a bread or a grommet in there and tie something through it. There's so many different ideas for closures. You could just wrap lace around it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. 
Last year I used a snowflake on my journal too, but I painted it. This year I thought I'd try doing something different, but I really like the snowflake on it. Okay. there. Now these will dry and then I have my pink candy themed journal for the holidays. I hope you guys found this series fun. I enjoyed doing this with you. Thanks so much for joining me. If you like what you see, click thumbs up. Hit subscribe and have a great day.